Greetings and welcome to my Airbus A320 Auto Brake Panel Build Series. We'll start by finding some reference pictures with measurements. One good source of measurements for an old A320 is simpit.de. No idea who the owner is as there is no info, but thanks anyway. First, some fine tuning of the projection to minimize distortion is needed. Jimp with the perspective transform tool works great for this. Enable the grid and try to align straight lines of the panel with the nearest grid lines. It's a bit tedious, so I'm skipping over it in this video. Then we head back and find a good reference measurement. Looks like it's about 117 millimeters. Then I'm going to use a tool I've made to do extra measurements. This tool is actually meant for reverse engineering circuit boards, but it has this extra feature that allows it to determine distances based on a single reference measurement. It's a bit buggy, but works well enough for the purpose. Round the numbers to whatever feels right. Then it's time to fire up CAD query. My plan is to first do the outline followed by cutouts and finally the engravings. I arbitrarily decide to start tracing the model outline clockwise starting from top left. Then it's time to think about the arcs in the corners. CatQuery has a bunch of commands for doing arcs. In this case, ellipse arc is the best choice because it doesn't require you to know the endpoint and therefore you can use it in a relative manner. I stumble a bit on the parameters here, but once I figure it out, it's mostly smooth sailing. The arguments it requires are X and Y radius of the arc, starting angle, which is okay to leave at zero in our case, ending angle at 90 degrees, a rotation, and whether it's clockwise minus one or counterclockwise plus one. Sorry, my face is in front of the bottom of the model. Leave and learn. I notice I've made a few mistakes on the way, because the top left corner appears to be wrong. There is no room to make the arcs. Alright, the outline's done. Next up are the screw holes. I will do the counter bore a bit later for those. Off to the landing gear indicator cutout. And sorry again, now the reference picture is in front of the code. Keep on living and learning. Brake fan switch cutout. Auto brake switch cutout. And this key toggle switch hole. And finally the terrain or navigation display switch. Then the counter bars for the screws and the toggle switch. Now it's time for the engravings. I got a utility function called panel text which basically just saves me from typing the font path all the time. Otherwise it's the same as the normal CQ text command. I'm just eyeballing these, no measurements. The way I will manufacture this panel is by first milling it from 3mm translucent acrylic, then I'll paint it and once the paint is dry I will finally engrave the paint using a tiny end mill. I got some end mills around 0.4 to 0.5mm that work well for this purpose.
All right, that's it. The panel is ready. Next up is going to be designing a matching circuit board with KiCad and that might be the theme for the next video. Thanks for tuning in, subscribe so you don't miss the next piece of the puzzle.